What is HVAC? I want to do a video, just a simple video. A lot of folks don't even really understand what some of the verbiages are in this trade. What is HVAC and what is it all encompass? What is everything under this umbrella of this trade, if you will? If you're a homeowner looking at maybe a product and you're just trying to figure out a place to start, I want to go through just a few things that maybe just off the top, you can know what these terms mean. First of all, what is HVAC? Well, it stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. I always joke that the trade should probably be called HAC and remove the V because a lot of guys have never even installed any ventilation equipment. They don't really even understand it. I think those days are kind of coming to an end because as we move closer and closer to more tighter homes, homes that don't breathe as well as they used to, which you may say that's a good thing, right? It's it's good because it should be more efficient. It should be better insulated. It should keep the outside extreme temperatures outside the home. The problem is a lot of folks don't understand is when you start building a tighter home like that, it actually makes things like the air you breathe less safe. And we're not going to get into all that. I've done other videos. Take my word for it. It makes the air less safe to breathe with VOC and all kinds of other things that you have to worry about. To fight that, we now have ventilation. You have to bring fresh air into the home. There's other things you can do to clean that air and make it a little safer to breathe, but the best way and the safest way in a lot of cases is to bring fresh air from outside into the home, make it to where you're not breathing recycled air. And the big thing I hear about that all the time is, well, Josh, the problems that I have are outside. I hear you. You want to filter that air and you want to make sure that air as it's being brought into the home is safe to breathe. But the point is you're adding ventilation to the home. So HVAC is heating. You're going to warm the home when it's cold outside ventilation and of course air conditioning and I would even go one step further and say a lot of folks would include an R at the end there, HVACR, and that R stands for refrigeration. A lot of air conditioning equipment, a lot of refrigeration equipment, they all have a lot of the same components. They have refrigerant, they have compressors, and they have coils. A lot of the guys that do what we do will sometimes trade over. They'll have multiple skills across these different platforms. And so if you hear somebody using terms like HVACR or HVAC, a lot of contractors, when they have their, the name of their company, I remember starting out in this trade thinking it was a little confusing when companies would put mechanical in the name of their company, and I thought that was a little confusing. I always thought that, you know, they must work on cars. It's a mechanic, but it's not. Uh, a lot of cases, if you hear Smith Mechanical or Jones Mechanical, they are some type of HVAC business. And so I hope that helps. The last thing I'll say is, as you look in this trade, is just realize that Although this term that we use, HVACR, is all-encompassing, realize that a lot of companies, including mine, have things they specialize in. Maybe they don't do residential. Maybe they only do commercial or vice versa. Maybe they do neither and they're only in factories. They're industrial. But if they do do residential, maybe they do oil boilers and they don't do the newer technologies or vice versa, they do the mini splits and all the new technologies inverters that are coming down the pike but they don't really mess with the old stuff. They don't mess with oil boilers and things like that. So I think that if you are getting quotes and you're talking to multiple contractors, it's okay to ask, hey, what services do you offer? I would think that most companies should have some sort of elevator pitch to say, this is what we do and this is what we don't do. I don't think there's many, I'm not saying any, but I don't think there's many companies out there that do everything, at least not well. For them to be able to do high-end refrigeration at supermarkets, but also do a mini split in someone's garage, residential, but also have a guy that could do oil boilers and a lot of the old type of technology that we've had around for decades, but you still have to have skills and, and specialties. I think a lot of those guys are not praised enough for how well they do what they do, right? Just because it's an older technology doesn't mean that you don't need to know what you're doing to work on it. So again, I say most companies should have some sort of 10 second commercial to say, this is what we offer. This is what we don't. And unless they're a gigantic company with all kinds of different guys, I would argue that, you know, they probably don't do everything. I wish you luck if you are in the market for a heating and air system. If you've never seen my videos, my name's Josh. I host the HVAC Guide for Homeowners YouTube channel. We'd love your support and subscription. If you want to go one step further and you want help 
buying a heating and air system, you're in the market for a heating and air system and you feel like you're drowning, you don't really understand and know everything that's being hit with you, our website, newhvacguide.com, it's a step-by-step -step process where we take you through all of the steps of buying that heating and air system and doing all the things that you should do to protect yourself, to avoid some of the pitfalls and problems that other homeowners have, and so on. I wish you luck. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about if you have a furnace, six reasons why it may not be working. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.